This is the Park Plaza Histria in Pula, a four-star hotel. We've checked in here already. You can see it's quite a big hotel, really lovely. Good location. Just over here, you can see is the harbour. Although I under we've, we've had a look around, we expected there to be a lot of restaurants on there, but there's not as much as we thought. So really, I guess if you're staying here and you don't want to go too far, the best thing to do is actually book into one of the restaurants. So we'll just go into the reception area. This is reception. It's really quite grand, actually. That's the reception desk. And then here is a very, very big lobby, lounge area. It's about seven o'clock, so people are here having their drinks. How are you with us? All good. And just out here is the outdoor area. We'll just take a walk out there. There must be a pianist at some point, or maybe you play yourself. It's a nice atmosphere. Well, no, uh, local local snorkeling, we can arrange ourselves. And then through here is where the restaurant is, or one of the restaurants. There's a band setting up here for the evening entertainment. And there's lots of places to sit. There's definitely no shortage of places to sit around here. And just here, you can see the beautiful views. Very tranquil. This is the pool area down here. We struggled a little bit, really just to get um, an umbrella more than anything, I would say. But you can see it's really, really nice. Some greenery here, so you can actually sunbathe down here as well. You can see out to the sea, it's uh, going to be a beautiful sunset, I would say, this evening. We've had a slight issue, I have to say. Um, we've booked in. We actually booked in through Hotels.com. I'll take you back around this area as I'm talking. So we booked in through Hotels.com and we checked in to a superior room, which I'll show you in a moment, uh, with a queen bed. And when we've actually checked in, I don't know if it's the Croatian way, <laughs> but the gentleman was really quite abrupt. Um, we've got a room and it's actually got twin beds in it rather than a queen. And we've tried to sort that out but uh, we've been told that there aren't many double beds. So that's something to actually bear in mind if you want in a double bed. If you want two twin beds pushed together, then that's what you'll probably get because that's what we've got. Um, and we were also promised water on arrival, which we didn't have. Then when we checked what the water on arrival was or where it was, we were told, yes, it is on arrival, however, that doesn't mean it's in the room when you arrive. So, I'm not really sure what that means. Anyway, we're just coming down the stairs here, and this is to the wellness area, and you've got here um, a hairdresser's and salon, and treatment rooms here. Then, just around the corner here, you've got a spa, a wellness spa. I'm just going to show you one of the uh, treatment rooms that the lovely lady has let me have a look through. So it's beautiful and clean, really, really tranquil. So this is a single room and she has told me that there is a double room as well for couples. But it is really beautiful, especially if you just want to have a peaceful, nice massage, then you'd come here. This is the gym. Um, I won't show too much of it because there's people actually training, but it is a good size with bikes and a few little pieces of equipment to train on. 
There is also a pool, but rightfully so. The lady didn't want me to film when there were people in the pool swimming around. This is Luna's lounge and bar. Oh, this is really nice, very mellow, quite romantic really, and chilled. I imagine this will probably get a bit busier this evening. And you've got this beautiful, huge glass window, so the views are lovely. And also over the pool, and that's the outside area that we've just walked past. We're in room 111, as you can see on the first floor, and this is the superior room. Like I said earlier, we expected to have queen bed, and this is what we've got, the twin beds. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, really, but it wasn't what we wanted, shall I say. Good size room, really, really good size room. That there is a sofa bed, and then you've got the desk area here. That's a fridge down there. Somewhere to obviously put your luggage. As you can see, we've already checked in, so there is luggage kind of all over. There's a big double wardrobe, so that acts as a mirror as well. Um, what isn't great is you only get eight hangers. So for two people, if you're here for a week, you're not gonna get a lot of clothes in really. You've got on this side is a, oh, more drawer space. And you've got extra bedding up there and a safety deposit box. I won't show you too much because there's clothes in there. And the bathroom. So you've got a fantastic, Massive shower here, clean towels. These are actually quite, are they fluffy? Yeah, quite fluffy towels, which you don't always get. And then you've got the Elemis beauty products here. Uh, big mirror, just that goes all the way along here and your towels. It's a soft clothes toilet seat. I'm not so fussed about this, but my boyfriend quite enjoys the soft clothes toilet seats. A little bit dirty down here, which you don't really expect of a, a four class, but probably just needs a really good clean out. And then out here, we've got this beautiful balcony and the shutters on it so it could be cool. So when we came in, the shutters were on. Um, and then here is where we started really and you've got the harbour there in the distance. But like I say, it's not really a harbour that has loads of restaurants. There is uh, their second hotel just down here, um, Hotel Plaza, which I think is Apartments Veruda. Um, I understand you can use some of their facilities as well. On the whole, it is a beautiful hotel. There's, n there's nothing wrong with that. Our experience hasn't been brilliant. Uh, I tend to expect from a four-star hotel that you're going to have four-star treatment and that didn't really happen. So location, kind of okay. Doesn't look like there's too much around. We're going to go to a restaurant this evening, which is about eight minutes away. Um, be warned as well, which we didn't realise, stupidly, our own fault, is that it isn't in euros. You may know this already. So you can um, actually withdraw money in the hotel from the cash machine in local currency. Nice hotel, just a shame that we had a problem with staff. I hope this helps. We're having dinner tonight at the Yacht Beach Bar and Restaurant, which is just on the beachfront. Um, it probably doesn't look so glamorous as you walk in, but when you go outside at night time, it's a really, really lovely setting. So it's right on the beachfront. This is your view here. It's a full moon tonight, which is very romantic. Really big. And then this is the dinner that we've gone through with the recommendation of the waitress who was really helpful. And I've got the fish and my other half has got the fillet steak and we've got a lovely bottle of Sauvignon and that all comes to about 60, 65 pound. So that's pretty good value. I have to say this lady, um, contrary to the other staff, has been really, really helpful. So 
maybe it was a one-off. So here you go, this is the yacht beach bar.